Royal Glamour TV. Choose the best African entertainment just at the tip of your finger. What is this? Did you clean this living room today? Yes, sir, I did. I see. Five percent slash from your salary for doing a bad job. So I, I can... Another five percent slash for interrupting me when I'm not done talking. That is ten percent. Do you want to interrupt me again? I just thanks. You're back. Please. Where did you get this girl from? She can't even do proper cleaning to this house. Proper cleaning? What happened? What I cleaned? Another 5% slash for interrupting me when I'm talking with my beautiful sister. You... You see my problem? Every little thing, she starts to cry. You're shedding crocodile tears. Instead of you to pay attention to your mistakes so that they don't repeat itself, you're crying. And why are you looking so skinny? So I, I don't understand. She's looking skinnier every day. Is it that you don't eat in this house? Because I'm aware you eat all the food in this house. So why are you looking skinny? Are you sick? When last did you go for a test? Answer me. 
Perhaps I did one before coming here. Do another one. Because I don't understand this, your look. I don't like it. Sis, don't mind her. Hey, come, 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 come here. What's that smell? Have you had a shower today? Jason, stop! Yes, sir. You're sure you've had your shower? Yes, sir. Did you wash your underwear? I mean, the one you're wearing now, did you wash it? Jason, what's all this? Stop! Answer me, did you? Yes, sir. Let me see. What's all this? No, I need to see it to be sure. Stop! is thinking. Please get an air fresh and spray it to this place. Jason! Jason! No, no, brother Jason. I take an exception to that. Why do you seize every opportunity to talk down on that poor girl simply because she's our employee? Our employee, you say? That makes me her employer, her boss. So she should be at my beck and call. Really? Yes. Oh, now body shaming a woman is the quality of a boss? Does this whole thing even make sense to you, brother Jason? Does it? Why do you allow your past experiences change you this much? This is not who you used to be. The fact that you were in relationship with women that acted all bossy and treated you like trash is not enough reason you should treat every other lady like trash. I, I, don't, I don't understand. What you don't want people to do to you, don't do it to them. I don't get it. Why are you defending this girl? An employee who will not take her job seriously. You are defending her. Why? Is this because she's a lady? No, it's not because she's a lady. But because what is worth doing is worth doing well. And what is not worth doing is not worth doing at all. Besides, Kama is a bitch. Ah, Kama is a bitch. So you're anti Kama now, huh? Diane, my brother was not like this. He wasn't. I can tell you this for free. A lot had happened, but nevertheless, I want to apologize on his behalf. He must have probably had a bad day from the board meeting he went for. Bad day? He has bad days every day of the week. What have I done to him to make him hate me so much? What did I do? Steph, tell me, is it a crime in this part of the world to not belong to the class of the high and mighty? Huh? Every chance or opportunity that your brother sees to make me cry, he takes it. What does he want from me? What? Okay, so would you rather that I go and prostitute myself to make a living? No, would he? No, Diane, don't say that. I just apologized on his behalf. He will change. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Who do we have here? <laughs> Mickey Gregor. The general himself. 
Nigga, the general himself. Hey, hey. <laughs> Why didn't you inform me that you were coming? Uh -uh. I need a town crier to announce that I'm coming to see you, right? What are you doing? I'm here to finish all the food in this house. Mm, <laughs> so just. Right on time, baby. Whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Right on time? Mm -hmm. Who did you come to see? I or my sister? Um, okay, both of you actually. Yeah, I'm here to loot everything in this house. Okay. But maybe starting from your sister. <laughs> 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 so that you that you won't gang. Come here. <laughs> How are you? With the general himself. The general himself. Ah. Oh, nothing much, bro. Uh, I just, you know, decided to come say hi. Stop that. You're sorry. You're sorry. Really? No, you're not sorry. You're not. My goodness. Steph. For what reason did you bring this girl? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Huh? You embarrass me, you embarrass my guest, and then you're saying you're sorry? Jay. Jay, come on. Like, for real, I'm fine. Okay, you don't have to raise your voice. No, 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 bro, you're not okay. You are not okay. Don't say you're okay. You're not. This girl needs to be punished. Go there and kneel down until I say you should get up. Ah, Jason. You're still looking at me. You want to lose your job? Because I'm not having with your hands up. Jay, 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 can you listen to me? Why do you think you're being too hard on this girl? Hello, here. Don't you think you're going extreme? That's how it's supposed to be. Bosses are meant to be hard on their employees, and not the other way around.
Wow. Wow. So it has gotten to this point. Huh? You're looking at your boss's picture with so much loss and emotions. For real? At the entire IRB, you better cover those eyes, those, those sick eyes of yours. Do you know this could attract you a salary slash? Do you know that? Five percent slash from your salary for looking at your boss's picture with emotions. you doing lying on my expensive couch with your non-expensive body Jason. Huh? You, you can't even say anything you can't five percent slash from your salary for being at the wrong place at the wrong time now run Jason, get out of here run Jason, stop i said run Jason, what are you doing why do you derive pleasure in making that girl uncomfortable? The poor girl panics at every sight of you. Where well, that's how it's supposed to be. That's not true. A staff runs at the sight of her boss and not sit. Jason, that's not true. Get her to clean this counter. Probably take it outside. Jason! Jason! <laughs> you do? Yeah. Oh, well, I know some of, most of your men actually. It's just I don't want to be putting eyes into their cases. Cheers. Huh? Yes. To us. Yeah, sure. Of course, of course. Mm. Hi, Jason. <laughs> what is it? Talk to me now. Isn't it, is everything okay? Okay, okay, okay. Where are you now? Okay, I'll be with you shortly. Just hold on. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. All right. What's, what's, what's going on? I need to see my brother immediately. What's, what's happening? Okay. Oh, see you, baby. Like... See you. Okay. Let me.
Jason, what happened? You got me worried over the phone. Talk to me, what happened? Talk to me. I've been defrauded of the company's money. I was supposed to remit a hundred million to the head office in Abuja. I don't know how I initiated a transaction that landed in the hands of fraudsters. This is problem. Big one. Come on, bro. This is not good. Like, like, how did you manage to become signatory to transactions involve, involving fraudsters to a company like Femos? Like, Femos of all the companies, bro. Millions of naira. Huh? That man's name of Femi Williams. One kind of a man, bro. Huh? He single-handedly jailed a state governor over something that people didn't even know that he, he, could, he could get reasons to jail him for. Imagine what he's going to do to you, bro. Huh? I'm going to stop. I'm in deep shit. Deep, deep shit. I don't even know. I don't understand how I involved myself in this. Huh? I was sitting right there in front of the board of directors and I couldn't even utter a single word. I, I, I was just talking rubbish. I couldn't explain nothing. And you go explain, even if you explain, there is no evidence. You go explain Taya now. Not with this man. And the, yeah? man, the man was there. He was just sitting there. I remember his words to me. I will tell you, he said. Hey, Jesus. He said that to you. He will tell you. Bro, bro, this is this is this is serious. This is serious. Like it's it's over. Huh? See, there's no need to mention what. What do we do now? What do we do? <sighs> let me just, let me just think, let me just... Ah, God. <sighs> someone, someone like Senator Femi, he's, he's, he's a hard nut to crack when it comes to decision making. You know, once his mind is made up, it's very difficult for him to go back on it. Huh? I heard his last daughter is his favorite child. Maybe we should find a way to get to her so that she could help us talk to her father because I heard she influences his decision. I got her address.
Dan langsung weer. Good day, Diana Williams, the daughter of Senator Femi Williams, a senior citizen in Nigeria, and the CEO of Femus Oil and Gas. And you, I believe, is Jason Wadike, the branch manager of Femus Oil and Gas. The one who embezzled millions of Naira from my daddy's company. The one who will pretty soon be going to jail. Look, I know the reason why you're here. You're here because you heard that I am daddy's favorite. The one that daddy listens to. The one that influences daddy's decision. But what I do not know is why a young man that is so put together, so coordinated, would be such an incompetent person that millions of Naira will vanish right before his eyes. You know, my daddy might be a lot of things. But one thing that he's not is lenient. Because his second name is Jill. And you, young lady, what are you doing here? My name is Stephanie. He's my brother and we both work in the same branch. Oh, I see. And you're here to go to jail with him, yeah? I, I, What is going on here? I'm as confused as you are. Is, is, is that? That's... Is there a problem? Oh, not at all, ma'am. No. Um, ma Sorry, I don't mean to offend you. But are you by any chance a twin? I mean, do you have a twin sister? Twin sister? Do I look like someone you know? Someone who is holding grudges on you? Someone you might have offended somewhere 
who is now pressing charges against you just like the Williams are? Hmm. Maybe double jail time or What is that? Restricted. Oh, no. Is it not bad enough that the company has taken their car? Now they're asking us to leave the house. I mean, where do they expect us to put up to? Have you tried calling that girl? The same room number is still not connecting. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't just understand how to explain this. The resemblance is just too much. Is, is it that she has a twin? Like an identical twin? Because my brother, I just... Something is not just adding up here, you know. How come she just disappeared the moment all these issues came up? And can, can, she, she could not be reached. I hope, I hope this is not what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I hope this your house girl uh, is not the same as you know, the famous daughter. No, no. <laughs> Mikey, what are you saying? No, it's, it's not possible. That, can, that can't be a good. Just take that, that one out of the equation. What are you saying? Because uh, my brother, they ask us to come back tomorrow. My faith is literally in the hands of this senator's daughter. <laughs> and if she happens to be the same girl that is in my house that I've been bullying, <laughs> just find me a prison brochure so I can begin to learn their ways because I'm going to jail. There's no way I'm not going to jail. Hmm. <sighs> No, no, it can't be. I'm guessing that this has answered the questions in your heart. I am Ikem Dirim, your supposed house girl. The only daughter of the renowned Femi Williams. She decided to go into her shell for reasons best known to her. 
And yes, you are right. She is the drawl of her father. The only one he listens to. The one who influences the decision of her daddy. This house and the house that the company allocated to you belongs to her. Daddy? Yes, Angel. You're leaving already? Yeah. Yes, sir. I can see you have some guests. Yes, Daddy. Um, yes, sir. Isn't this face? Um, yes, it's the branch manager here. Oh. The one who embezzled a hundred millionaire fund. Who even allowed him into this place? Listen, I hope you fastened your seat belt because I am going to jail you without looking back. Oh, Daddy, don't worry, I've, I've got it covered, okay? And I know he's innocent. How can you trust me, young men of these days? I think I should blame you in all of this, my angel. Huh? You know what? I am always in the UK, and then I entrusted everything about this company in your hand. And I believe you should handle it diligently. All the offers that I've given to you. But what do I get? Huh? You are just like the CEO Fennel's oil and gas in this city. Huh? You are in charge. And I trusted you. And you employed such an incompetent man to be the manager of this company that you're in charge of. What happened to you? Daddy. Daddy. You're beginning to hurt my feelings. Excuse me, will you get up? How dare you sit down? Look at him. Daddy. Daddy. You're beginning to hurt my feelings. Am I not your jewel anymore? Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay? All right, my jewel. Uh, I think your judgment is just as good as mine. You know what, I will be leaving for the UK first thing tomorrow morning and then I will definitely come back and when I come back, I will come see you, okay? Alright, daddy. <laughs> Alright, bye my girl. Um, my domestic staff are currently on holiday and they will not be returning anytime soon. You are to resume their chores, to take up their roles and work for me as my domestic staff. That way I will be able to keep an eye on you and what you're doing. The manual I will be sending to you um, would be the outline of things that you need to do. In a way, I am taking a bullet that was prepared for you by my father. No, 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 no. There is no way I will belittle myself to work as a domestic staff for a girl that worked for me. I am not doing it. No, no, no. Hmm? Are you listening to yourself at all? Huh? Can you hear you? Can you hear what you're vomiting? You cannot belittle yourself. No, no, it's okay. Keep saying no. The way I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you from one angle. I'm seeing you. The other angle, I'm seeing jail. Like standard iron. What, what do you mean by that? What do you mean you're seeing? Jail? No, you're going to jail. You now, you go to jail. You're seeing a girl that is ready to take a bullet for you for a mess you find yourself in, and you're here shouting no, no, no. You, you, you're, you're keeping your hand like this. You just go to jail. See, bro, this is not the time for this. So it's high time you swallow your pride. Swallow your pride, bro. Let go of your ego. <laughs> this is not as simple as you think, oh. We are talking about 100 million naira here. <sighs> eh? I mean, we are even lucky that she's on your side. The best thing you can do now is to just succumb. I mean, play the fool, even when you're not a fool. And do exactly what she says. If it means me... Going over to the house with you. I will go just for you to do this. You don't have to go anywhere with him. He can go. He has to go on his own and do whatever the girl wants. Huh? 
I'll follow him and go so that he can do it. You follow him and go? Yes. Okay. If you want to go to Jen and two of you, two of you can stay in the same room. I, at least I can bring food for the two of you at the same time. What are you saying? You go with him now. I don't go to Jen. I will not go to Jen. The manual says one domestic staff. Did you not read it? Why do I have two? And yes, I want the male one. I'm sorry, ma. I, I, I'm so sorry. What exactly are you sorry for? Huh? No, tell me, what are you sorry for? And why are you fidgeting? Oh, so you're scared. You're scared of actually going to jail. Wow. I can't even believe my ears right now. So you can actually say sorry from that your mouth. Anything that you've damaged in this house, you are going to pay for it. 
Do you understand me? She's go about breaking things all over the house. Look at you. I thought you were a man. Oh, you no longer have powers, eh? What happened to you? Jason, what have you broken again? Are, are you sure you've not gone to banter words with her? You, you know her father is not the kind of man you can toy with and go scot-free. Okay, just go. Jo, just go and apologize to her. Go and beg her before it gets to her father's ears. Jason, just go. Swallow your pride for once. Go and apologize to her. I want to apologize for what happened earlier. It wasn't my intention to break anything in the house. And I also want to apologize for for the way I mistreated you in the past. That wasn't me. A lot happened that led to it, and I'm sorry. Please, I don't want your father to know that I maltreated you in the past. Please. Jay, are you afraid of what my father would do to you or what I would do to you? I... I just... Go. I'm trying to say this. Go, just go. Jay? Try and do your duty diligently, okay? Because if you do otherwise, then my father has to come in. Do you understand me?
It's all good. It's all good. So how about Jason? Have you heard from him? Just my brother. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke with him earlier today. He's fine. Oh, beautiful. That's good. You know, sometimes I just get so worried about him. Worried? Yeah. About him? Yes. Why? Maybe because of that girl's father, the son. That man can be so unpredictable, you know. The thoughts of that man scares me. <laughs> And why does everyone get scared at the mention of that man's name? So someone that jailed the state governor, huh? At something that we all thought was nothing. You're not scared about him? And I knew Jensen as well. He can be so stubborn at times. You know I just him. pray he keeps his cool so that he doesn't go to jail. Yeah, <laughs> he better do, because if he doesn't, <laughs> he will go to jail, but... Um... No, 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 I don't want him to go to jail, okay? Just... I don't know, I just pray this ends all peacefully, like, without, without much problems or complications. Certainly he won't be. <sighs> so, baby. Can't you just, at least we are thinking about your brother, you're looking for where you're going. Ah, uh, I don't understand. What do you mean? Hi, Jason. How are you? You don't sound okay. Is everything all right? Yes, Steph. I'm okay. I'm fine. And how is Madame? Uh, she's... she's okay. She's there. She just had a... a knee dislocation earlier today. Dislocation? How come? She... she slipped, yeah. Sleep down fell. Is that serious? Yeah, I, I just I just massaged it with cream. Yeah, the doctor. Yeah, he said she's going to get fine. She'll be better just to constantly massage the affected area. Okay, I'll I'll come check up on you later. Alright, I'll talk to you later, okay? Yeah, catch ya. Bye.
There's something about her. There's something about that girl. Like the way she she looks into my eyes. You need to see how she looks at my face. You can clearly see that she's physically there. But her mind, her mind is far away. And then the next thing, she starts to cry. Tears. I just, I don't know. And then she falls. That was where she got that dislocation on her knee. I just, I don't know. So what do you make of that? I don't know. I mean, I can't lay my hands on anything. But I know that she... She's different. So whenever I see those tears, I feel bad. I ask myself if I'm the reason for the tears. I just wish she could, you know, open up and talk to me. Tell me if I'm the reason for the tears. But you know, but there's something about her. She's just, she doesn't even react rudely to anything. You know, with good attitude. There's something about everything about her is just... She's same. Are you falling in love with Diane? Huh? What? <laughs> Why would you even say such a thing? <laughs> I mean, it's obvious, even from your voice. Oh. Mm -hmm. So now I can tell by reading people's voice. I don't think it's love. No, it's not. It's just... I mean, yeah, I like her personality. No. She's nice. Not like those other girls that did that in the past. Those women who will not waste any opportunity to disrespect and humiliate their man simply because they have money. What? You remind 
Just checking on you to know if you'll be needing anything. Do you want me to do anything for you? I know you're not strong. You can do your laundry, any errand. Have you ever been in love before? Uh, <laughs> Have you ever been in love? Yes. No. No. I know 
I know you haunt me with your words, bullying me around while I'm serving you. Cause you remind me of a beautiful soul that make me stare at you every day. The reason why I'm still standing here is all for love. Just to get closer to you Don't you see me? Yeah, I do all I can To make you give love a second chance Oh, cause you remind me of a beautiful soul That make me stare at you every day In love with, with who? Who else? <laughs> yeah, in love with your house girls and boys. Mickey, that's not funny. Okay. It's not laughing, but I'm serious. My bad. I'm in love with her. I am. I am deeply in love with her. I think about her all the time. That girl gives me sleepless night. Okay. I, I don't know what to do about it. Hmm. Well, you sound serious. I don't know. If you're actually serious about this, then you should just walk up to her and tell her how you feel about her. Just like that? Yeah. I mean, do you need a do you need us to kill a cow and then kill a white cow before you be able to profess your feelings to the lady you love? Come on, bro. Those days are gone. <clears throat> I mean, if you love someone, you just have to walk up to her, tell them how you feel about them. These are gone when you have to, you know, beat around the bush and draw maps mm -hmm. and all that. And then you have to say the word before someone else does. Yeah, that's my candid advice anyways. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> but oh. still looks... <laughs> just, you know, in that world where you just keep thinking, what do I do next? Oh, well, if we can pull it out, if you're stressed about it. Man, get me something to drink, Jesus. Yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you something, of course. I'll get you. Ha! My man, my man. My man.
I'm in love with you. Hey. I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? Did I say anything to hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. What are you doing to yourself? Just stop. Get up. Get up. Oh, sit. What is it? What are you doing to yourself? Just stop. Then what are you doing to yourself? Huh? What are you doing? It's over a year since my brother James, your late fiancé, died, and you're yet to get over it. I'm a woman like you. I understand how you feel. But babes, it, it is. It is not your fault, like I said, that he died. But then you need to go out there, do some stuff, mingle, get your whole life in one piece. For your mental health, please. Please, babes. Just stop. Go out there and have fun. Mingle and everything will be fine. Calm down, Diane. You need to calm down. This whole thing is getting into your head. How can you say you saw my brother, your late fiancé, at the gym? Calm down. 
Diane. Diane, what is it? Diane! Diane! What is it? Diane! Oh God. Diane! Diane! My late brother James was an identical twin. Jason is his identical brother. Or should I say, you didn't get to meet him the period you both dated. And that's because you put dated for a very short period of time. Jason left town five years ago and swore never to come back. And that's because he's had several past bad experiences with women. And they are identical in everything. I mean, everything about Jason was James. Loving, kind, hardworking, you name it. So Jason decided to leave so he could erase the whole bad memories he's had in the past with women, especially with the woman he dated last. So I never expected him to be in town now. Do you understand? How you knocked me off my feet oh, 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 I can't believe that I am holding on to you Even if you're leading me on I don't want to leave tomorrow Want to stay by your side Your side now and forever It is amazing You're attracted to Jason, James's twin brother, as in you're in love with him. Everything, everything about them is the same. The looks, the walk, the voice, the aura, every single thing, Stephanie. Please tell me the truth. Okay, tell me the truth, Stephanie. Tell me that, tell me that is James and not Jason. And that there's nobody like Jason, please. <laughs> Come on, babes. Why would I want to lie about a thing like that? Jason and James are two different people, both identical twins. Jason is different from James. 
your late fiancé. Okay? I need him. I have to have him because he has something that belongs to me. Really? Which is... He has my love, James, in him. Stephanie, every time I see him, my heart skips. I see, I see my James in him all the time. Look, I was trying to move on. I was, I was trying to pick up my life and then he resurfaced. Now all I can see is, is James. Okay, Stephanie, please, if you want me to get my life back in order, just like you said, I need your help. Please. I need you to help me do this one time favor. I, I, I swear I will be indebted to you. Just please help me out, please. That won't be easy though, babes. I mean, Jason, my brother, has been through a lot in the hands of women. Especially the wealthy ones he dated. If there's one thing he doesn't want to hear right now, it's women. And if there's equally one thing he wants right now, is to be a boss of his own, have people at his back and call to order around, just like his S's did. Okay, fine. He wants to be a boss, right? Some people fall in love and they give it their all. They get so attached to their partner that when withdrawn, it feels like it becomes so difficult for you to fall in love with someone else. I am some people. When my heart was stolen, immediately I died. And then I came back to life when I found the one who stole my heart in you. About the missing money, the first as I've been found. Look, I know that you can be anything bad, but not a thief. And when the issue of the stolen money came, I saw it as an opportunity to, to achieve my goals. I'm happy that you're vindicated. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I lied. I want you to know that whatever I did was, was all for love. You know, one way or another, our past affects our present. My past relationship was was not a good one. And it affected my mental health. I dated women 
Yes, they had money. But they were toxic. They were bossy. They had no respect for me. And at the end of the day, they threw me out over my issues. I didn't handle the feeling well. And that made me swear to pay back. I always believe that women who are rich, they are bossy and saucy. But I was wrong. You proved me wrong. Dan, I mean every word I said. I'm in love with you. And I can't help it. I can't. Babe, seriously, I'm not happy that you kept this away from me for this long. Huh? Come on, babe, are we doing this again? She's a woman like me, and I promise to keep it a secret. I, I, telling you is like telling my brother because you both are friends. I, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to make my brother happy because I want the best for him. You know, it's just him and I. Huh? Ah. You want the best for him? Oh, I love the sound of that. You want the best for your brother, he deserves all the best. Okay, but what about me? Huh? Don't I deserve the best? No, oh, baby, you have me. Am I, am I not the best? You have me. <laughs> so you're the best? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay, but you know, you shouldn't. Just keep things away like this. I mean, that was a very sensitive stuff. You should have told me. Okay, sir. I have a surprise for you. It's amazing how you knock yes. me off my okay. feet. What is it? Oh, oh. I can't believe that I am holding on to you. Right. Even if you're leading me on, I don't wanna leave tomorrow. Don't up all. Wanna stay by your side, your side now and forever. It is amazing with the way that I'm loving you. It is amazing. better say yes or I will take that ring. <laughs> Just say yes.
scared to give me your heart you are so scared baby me but i'm willing to wait for you i want to fight for you want to stand by you we can face the 